The sin of avarice, extreme greed for wealth or material gain, is a deadly sin gripping the world in real time, a crippling offense to mankind so offensive to Yahweh that will be dealt with most harshly. It is causing widespread hardships all over the world, making people desperate for the basic necessities of life and causing many to compromise their morals just to stay afloat, provide shelter and feed their children. It is causing many to sell their souls to the aristocrats, small privileged class believed to be superior, who use material things they acquired through the sin of avarice, to cause people to submit to their carnal immorality in exchange for something that is no help at all, all perpetrated by descendants of Cain and the cohorts of the long-term planning of the Antichrist. Anyone cohorting with, admiring, Consenting to or thinking their demonic way of life is prestigious is considered an enemy of Yahweh and must repent, ask for forgiveness and be cleansed of the stench of the fowl of the earth. Yahweh looks at the world and sees a disturbed society with prices for everything soaring at rates the universe has never seen before. He sees billions of, of human beings gaslighted and unable to change from the basic beliefs demonic society have taught them. He understands the worst fears of his angels and earthly elite messengers who are failing to restore a homeostasis balance, a state of balance among all the body systems needed to survive and function correctly. To the unthinking many, who do not use their discernment even when presented with empirical, observation or experience, messages that are true and provides evidence that there is only one true God. His name is Yahweh, and that it is He that provides, and His good triumphs evil. Yahweh watches as people allow the demonic flux become acceptable, bearable, and enjoyable. He observed mankind taking a fork in the road, a wrong turn which detailed his morality and let the demonic create the flint character of things as they are on earth today. The troubled, in the soul, are many. Their troubles are seeping down further and further in demonic decay and causing afflictions on the masses in historic proportions. Yahweh see people turning to practitioners for help with afflictions, but man's medicines are useless against the supernatural. Demons made it possible for man to be born to trouble, being deceived by the inchoate, not fully formed or developed, teaching of the arch-evil one. People don't understand the price of giving up their souls. The demonic focus on the few whose multanimity, having many minds or aspects, many-sided, souls are the greatest. Holiness comes with a lifestyle and a dress code. It doesn't allow you to make up your own rules. It doesn't allow you to ignore the fact that there are human and inhuman entities, good and bad, seen and unseen. It doesn't allow you not to believe that cambians, reptilians, succubi, incubus and other demons exist and can shift shape in an instance to seem inviting and safe because they know what you like. They make what you think you like, what they influence your free will to like. More important, what Yahweh wills for you making you not only your worst enemy, but an enemy of Yahweh himself. Don't be Yahweh's enemy, it will not turn out well for you. Don't make Yahweh fire you. When he fires you, you go straight to hell. You just can't do what you want to do when you are on Yahweh's path.
when Yahweh starts killing from the oldest to the youngest you will wish for the opportunity you had to do his will that he asked you to do. His truth will still exist even without your belief. A damaged discernment cannot see what it's intended to see, things invisible to the naked eye. Mankind, times are as bad as they ever have been. How are you going to escape or be exempt from the wrath of Yahweh when you don't do the simple things he asked you to do? He didn't let the people of Solomon and Gomorrah escape and things are worse now than then, and he is not going to let you escape. Yahweh will refuse to know you when you don't acknowledge him and accept his will. The idea of proficiency in the knowledge of Yahweh is especially repugnant, extremely distasteful, unacceptable, in the minds of the deceived, when the truth is brought to bear, it reminds them unpleasantly of their deceits. Dealing with demons means you are joining the enemy's army. They live in so many places, off anything, and sometimes nothing, but always looking to feed off man's free will. They are fickle, cruel, shallow and non-compassionate. They find no rest outside themselves and only pauses among outside things as do bees among flowers to feed upon them. But, don't get it twisted, demons unlike bees stop to feed on souls. Understand Yahweh stops the spread of lies. The demonic stops the spread of truth. There is a difference, 